When it comes to nature, Taiwan has this idea of the civil IoT system. In many different schools, including primary schools all around Taiwan, a lot of students learn data stewardship, data governance through a simple device called the Airbox. The Airbox, being less than 100 euros each, easily measures PM 2.5 and other air indicators, and they upload to a distributed ledger so that everybody can rest assured that nobody can go back in time and change each other's numbers. And through this ledger technology, the legitimacy of the social sector grows as the station grows to more than 2,000 stations. At that time, the environmental minister only has less than 100 stations. And so people tend to believe each other's numbers rather than the ministerial numbers. However, in Taiwan, because we have the most open civic space in the whole of Asia, according to Civicus Monitor, we really can't beat the citizen scientists. We must join them. So they engaged in a collective bargaining of data governance, allowing the government to join their already very legitimate distributed system in exchange of the government installing their spec air boxes in the industrial areas. Because these are private property they couldn't get access into. But it turns out that the municipal government owned the lamps. And so we can install their air boxes in the industrial places to make sure that everybody is accountable when it comes to natural air quality. The same team has now also placed in the top 10 of last year's presidential hackathon through the idea of a water box that incentivizes everybody, not only farmers, but also industrial plants that share the same waterway as farmers to place those water boxes that again connect through MBIoT to form the complete natural picture so that we can deliberate based on shared facts, reliable data, encouraging effective partnership that is supported but not controlled by the government. And this is the spirit of data collaboratives.